Hello guys and welcome to another episode of uh, Advanced uh, Dove's Tactics. Today I'm going uh, to show you how I level my sealed maging profession or uh, known in game as Craft uh, Magus. First of all, as you can see I'm uh, with two friends of mine, Dravite and Daihos. I think uh, that's how you pronounce their names. Anyway, they are talking now. First of all, click on your uh, XP bar and select from custom goes XP uh, craft Marcus. This is the sealed maging profession. Here it is. I'm currently level 112 and I want to level it to level it today to 120 if possible. First of all, visit your bank. Uh, on the options button, actually select Smith Magic uh, Runes. Smith Magic Rune. Click the options button, sort, sort by quantity. And now select the runes, you have uh, m more of them, and uh, the cheapest ones. So the cheapest ones for me are the strength, the, the low strength ones, the intelligent ones, the agile ones, and the chance ones. I already have some in my inventory. I also selected some special uh, runes such as the healing runes and the critical runes and I'm going to take some pod runes also and you're gonna see later why I choose uh, these runes ok now we're going to the shop I want to say that uh, this is probably not the best uh, how to level uh, your uh, profession but is what I call the most efficient because it's cheap and kind of fast I don't want to put to invest a lot of money neither a lot of time okay now the best XP comes uh, from an item that is uh, near your uh, profession level my profession level is uh, 112 as I said before, so I'm going to select a seal that is near that. And as seal is ok, 110, it's just two levels uh, lower. So now I'm going to match the, the critical uh, statistic. Right now I need uh, 1549 experience points to the next level. Let's see how much experience a success with a crit rune will give us. Well, it gave uh, almost 200, which is very nice. Now this stat is marked. I'm gonna choose another shield. I failed. Nothing happened. Now I succeeded. And I got almost another 200 experience, which is very good. But now the seal is perfect. And the other two seals are already at 5% critical. So I have to break one. And this is how you do it. You take uh, the lot cheaper rooms and press combine them all and wait till the critical drops of course at the end you might uh, lose all the stats in the seal but that's no problem because you're gonna use a new leaf orb which is for level uh, for items uh, level uh, 120 and we can and we're going to make it new now stop 
and add back some criticals. And I'm hoping I'm going to level with few successes. Okay, almost leveled. Now, let's go back and take some lock runes. Okay, I went to my bank and took a few lock runes. I'm gonna put them in and I will probably level. I need 19 XP to level. Let's see how much do I will get. Yeah, I just leveled and got decent XP. Okay, let's see how much exactly. 199. 60 XP. Lock runes, uh, lock rune gives 60 XP if landed successfully. Let's add another critical. Yeah, got almost 190. Okay, not bad. But this is kind of expensive. Lock runes, which worth 1,000 over 1,000 commas. Critical runes, which worth almost uh, 2,000 commas. Okay, now let's see how to do it cheap. We select another shield and now pay attention. Where is it? Okay, this one. This shield has heals. Heal runes are, are not as expensive as, as the critical ones. They only cost uh, uh, around 1000 commas and they give the same XP. Also, the shield I'm using is level 85, which is near uh, the level of my professions, so it's good. Now, the secret is to add a rune that will give some, some XP if successful, but will also drop the heals. For me, the, the usual uh, runes, strength, intel, the small ones, won't cut it. They, do, they don't tend to break the heals. They either fail or success with not much experience. So I stop that and I add the pod runes. The pod runes give a better, better experience if they land successfully or, and also tend to break the heals fast. Now I'm waiting till the heals drop uh, around 0 or 1 or 2. And you can see that uh, my XP is growing. Okay, I stop it now. That is at uh, two, at one heal, and I will add the heals back up. See, it's climbing very fast, and I repeat. I'll break the heals and add them back. My friend just came in. Hello, Dravite. What's up? He wants to ask me a question. Okay, the hills uh, have dropped back to two. I'll stop it. He wants to ask. He asked me if uh, he gets uh, AP or MP runes if he crashes these boots, which of course you don't. Now I will uh, mage the heal runes uh, back to 15 or 14. Let's see if I can uh, level this time. Look how fast. Uh, the experience bar is growing. Yeah, almost. See, it stops. Uh, when you max heals, uh, the maging stops automatically. Now I'm going to break some more of the heals. 
Okay, let's finish uh, this level and see how much time uh, uh, it takes to gain a level. Now I like to see the heals uh, dropping fast and if it's not the heals, the criticals or whatever you are planning to, to drop. If you want to break something really fast, you can use the crit runes. But it's a waste of money really. I landed one critical. I got some good XP. Okay, stop. Yeah, one more. Okay. And this is how you do it. First, <coughs> you take the normal uh, road by using a high level uh, item near your profession level and just add the, the runes that it has or take another shield broke uh, the heals or the criticals or some stat which its runes uh, gives a lot of XP and then add them back which is the, the more special way and if it's heals, it's good because it's cheap. If it's criticals, not so good because uh, uh, critical runes uh, worth double the, the value of the of the healing ones. Well, I hope this video won't uh, make the the price of the heal runes uh, rise. Uh, not that uh, a lot of people watches my video, but you never know. Okay, I hope. Uh, this video has been helpful uh, to you and see you the next time.